When it comes to great beaches, fun attractions, and awesome food in Florida, there are many places you can visit, and top among them should be the sunny shores of Fort Lauderdale. It's long been known as a great place to catch a tan, lounge on a beach, and overall enjoy the outdoors. But in recent years, Fort Lauderdale has been stepping up its food game in a serious way. Stay tuned as Fucation presents the best restaurants in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. The Etno Rosso Ristorante You might not expect to find a legit and authentic Italian restaurant outside some of the major cities in the state, but the Etno Rosso Ristorante is certainly one. Perhaps the most authentic Italian spot in Fort Lauderdale, in fact. It's a fairly low-key spot from the outside, located where A1A meets Oakland Park Boulevard. But inside is where the magic happens, based around essential Italian cuisine that if you grew up in Italy or with an Italian grandma, you've definitely had before. And the cuisine at the Etna Rosso Ristorante will take you back to your childhood of eating bolognese and various delectable pastas. The owner of the place is Luca, who hails from Sicily and adds Sicilian touches to many of the dishes. We should also add that he's usually at the restaurant, so you'll likely meet him when you go there, which is an added bonus because he's really cool and passionate about food. You can't go wrong with most things on the menu at this spot, so it's more a matter of deciding the level of spiciness you want, the type of sauce, which pasta type, and so on. You can also try the Frutta di Mare if you want to add some fresh seafood into your evening. Blue Moon Fish Company Speaking of seafood, when you're on the coast, there's never a lack of places offering fresh seafood dishes. So really what you're looking for is places that take it to the next level. And that's exactly what Blue Moon Fish Company does. It's a Cajun-infused seafood place that's been around for nearly 20 years, and they've perfected their dishes over that period. Plus, they have the culinary recognition and awards to prove it. They have a great variety of fish options here, including the seafood gumbo, which is a pile of fresh crab, shrimp, crawfish, and more. It has the Cajun spices that'll leave you talking about it for days. If you're looking for more standard seafood, you can always get something like the ceviche, which is also excellent. They have great desserts, too, in case you don't fully fill up on dinner. These include a great toasted coconut meringue. And while Blue Moon Fish Co. is excellent for dinner and lunch, we highly recommend stopping here for a Sunday brunch. Not only do they offer bottomless mimosas, but it's also an all-you-can-eat situation as well. It's not cheap at about 70 bucks a person, but the breakfast and lunch food is on par with their dinner menu, and it's a worthwhile expenditure. Hardy Park Bistro When you want a hearty and delicious lunch in Fort Lauderdale, you can't go wrong with Hardy Park Bistro. They keep things simple, and in a good way. You can grab a tasty salad or one of their excellent sandwich options, both of which utilize local and fresh ingredients. The vibe is super chill, and you'll feel like you're one of the locals as you grab a bite. It's a great spot for filling back up after whatever you got up to on the beach all morning. We highly recommend the burrata salad with its mound of burrata cheese mixed with grilled vegetables. But pretty much everything on the menu is easy to eat and tasty. Sistrunk Marketplace When you don't feel like sitting in a cozy beachside restaurant for lunch, a great alternative is to hit up an awesome food hall. And Sistrunk Marketplace is exactly that. It's a combination of a place to eat with other culinary-centric activities. That means they offer cooking classes in the marketplace, as well as boutique stores selling goods and sundries. There's even distillery tours inside. And of course, you probably want to go there to eat your lunch too, and that's an excellent idea. Simply walk around the marketplace and pick one or several places that look appealing. You'll have your pick of everything from ramen to fresh poke to crepes and other delectables. The one caveat is that unlike many modern food halls, you actually have to make a reservation to eat there. And you'll have the option of grabbing a table inside the marketplace, which gives you a really fun vibe, or outside on the patio for a more relaxed and sunny atmosphere. Coconuts if you're visiting Fort Lauderdale with your family, Coconuts is an ideal spot to grab a meal. Not only is the food great, but the views are out of this world. If you can manage to get a seat outside, you'll be able to eat as you look out onto the water, enjoying the passing yachts and the beach scenery. Of course, a good view alone doesn't make a great restaurant, but fortunately, Coconuts has the culinary bona fides to match their view. It's a seafood-based spot, not surprisingly, and they have some excellent staples like lobster rolls and scoobies, which are crab claws soaked in garlic and butter. 
They also have great coconut shrimp and conch fritters. Plus, their raw bar is always stuffed full of freshly caught fish, including ahi tuna poke and salted shrimp. They also have some unique perks, like allowing customers to arrive by boat and dock at the restaurant and the ability to feed the tarpon fish on the intracoastal, the inland water that runs parallel to the ocean. The latter happens only on certain times during the day, so check in with the waitstaff. Takato Eating at seafood joints isn't mandatory in Fort Lauderdale because there are plenty of great restaurants offering a variety of cuisine. Case in point is Takato, a fantastic Japanese and Korean fusion restaurant. It's located conveniently inside the lobby of the Conrad Hotel and is the creation of Chef Take Lee. Lee has become a local celebrity from the quality Takato provides, though he was also a standout in Miami previously at the much-loved restaurant Zuma. The menu is chock full of interesting and tasty hybrid dishes, including the duck bao buns and the lobster with yuzu shiso butter. Plus, the short rib kimchi tacos and crispy tuna dishes are incredible. Of course, if you're on vacation and want to go the extra mile with your wallet and taste buds, you can order the A5 Wagyu steak, offered with a bunch of different sauce options. Takato has an excellent section of high-end craft cocktails and shareable plates. That means it's a perfect spot for a night out with several people, whether it's for a celebratory dinner or simply to enjoy each other's company. They also do a really good happy hour with some great deals on their food. We recommend the Angry Chicken. Lona Cocina Tequileria When you want to indulge in a totally different region, we recommend the legit street food offered up by Lona Cocina Tequileria. But it's not your average low-budget street food spot. It's actually fairly upscale, and they do a great job of making tasty street food with a fancy spin. For example, the octopus tostada. The name alone should tell you about the mix of casual and upscale dining they specialize in. Not only does it have tasty octopus, but it also is garnished with caramelized onions, refried beans, and a killer aioli. They have specials going on at different times of the week, but you can always find a deal there. Taco Tuesdays is a highlight with $5 tacos galore. Plus, they make a great margarita, so your Tuesday will feel more like a Friday or Saturday. Sith & Company no list of great restaurants should be without an excellent breakfast spot. That's where Sith & Company comes in. It's a fantastic coffee shop that serves up a nice variety of meals. First, there are some of the standard breakfast options you'd expect, like breakfast sandwiches that are grab-and-go, and excellent coffee. But they also venture outside the traditional lanes and offer things like a blue butterfly latte and blackberry almond latte. And they have tasty waffles, baked goods, and more. And most of the menu is available as a vegan option as well. Ethos Greek Bistro When you want some really great Greek food in Fort Lauderdale, head to Ethos Greek Bistro. They give you options of all the standard Greek and Mediterranean classics you'd expect. But what's cool about Ethos is that the menu is centered around seafood and light vegetarian offerings. So even if you eat a lot, which you're going to want to, you won't feel weighed down. AKA, you can head right back to the beach or out for a night on the town. It's an ideal spot for a happy hour gathering since they have some awesome drink options and a very chill vibe. The best route is probably to do a bunch of shared plates like daco, grilled octopus, and zucchini croquettes. Now it's time to hear from you. Did we miss any of your favorite restaurants in Fort Lauderdale? Let us know in the comments section below.